Today we're going to show you how to set up two GLD80 systems for a typical front of house monitor split. First fit an MACE card in each surface option slot. Power up the systems. Connect the two ACE cards together with an approved Cat5 cable. Decide which console is to be the master, i.e. the one with the control over the analog preamps and probably connected to the AR2412 audio rack on stage. In this case we are making the monitor console the master. Recall the template shows for each console from the memory screen. On the I.O. screen of the monitor surface, set a range of I.O. port out channels to be a split of the mic preamps by choosing input sockets as the source and define the number of channels from say 1 to 32. On the slave console, go to the I.O. screen, touch the I.O. port in tab and patch a range of 1 to 32 of the incoming ACE channels to inputs 1 to 32. On the audio sync page, set the clock source on this console to slave option card. Check the gain levels of the master console using pad if necessary. You can use the channel strip or screen to do this. Once the gain is in the ballpark, you can then change the preamp to the trim on surface option. You now have plus and minus 24 dB of digital trim in the channel pad. And the control strip gain control now adjusts this, not the analog mic preamp gain. The preamp splits are taken before the channel digital trim and so will now not be affected by changes to trim on the master console. On the slave console, the preamps have been patched to take their source from the I.O. port and thus have plus and minus 24 dB of trim independent of the trim on the master console. If at any time the real analog gain needs to be tweaked on the master console, then touch the gain value on the on-screen preamp and you will be warned you're about to change the gain and you should communicate this with the operator of the slave system. Adjust the mic pre-gain using the screen control. The channel control strip gain remains mapped per trim. Assign some XLR outputs to the monitor aux mixes on the master console. From the front of house console, you can take the outputs from the PA, from the rear of the surface connectors, an expander connected to the surface if you have one, or tunnel the mixes down the ACE line to the other system. On the I.O. Port Out tab, set a single or range of channels to be the main mix or a matrix mix if needed, and press Apply. Now, on the monitor console, on stage, touch the D-State tab and select an output XLR, choose I.O. Port In as the source, and set the range and apply. The front of house PA mixes will now be available out of these sockets.